So Jake Paul is trending at number one right now, and this is why he's getting slammed left, right, and center. Hey guys, it's Morad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, Morad underscore Morali. Subscribe to the channel, and let's get into this quick fire three minute video. Jake Paul is trending number one and is being slammed because he is looting. And people are saying, I repeat, F Jake Paul, he's a millionaire looting whilst people are outside protesting, getting shot with rubber bullets, tear gas and cops. Jake Paul came to my state last night to not peacefully protest in downtown, but went directly to the looting in Scottsdale and brazenly bragged about it on his socials. This is an opportunity to change our world, not grow your dog S brand. Hijacking the Black Lives Matter movement as a famous internet celebrity to rob a mourn is exactly what I thought Jake Paul would be doing today. Logan Paul filmed a dead body in Japan suicide forest and posted it. Jake Paul films himself looting during protests of the murder of an innocent black man. The Pauls are the embodiment of white privilege, profiting off others suffering and getting away with it. Getting away with it is very key. People saying Jake Paul should be the next person's anonymous exposes like there isn't already multiple reasons to cancel this damn man. Jake Paul has a $19 million net worth and a giant platform consisting of mainly kids. And he's out here looting whilst others getting tear gas and beat. F off, he really isn't shit. And this is what it is. White privilege can come in many ways, child, and during people who are fighting for their lives, we have idiots like him who just go and loot for fun and then call it a day and want to post about it or rant about it. The fact that he can post about it, he's doing that because he knows he can get away with it. And I feel like it's just pure exploitation, taking advantage of such situations. People are being tear gassed in the US and with the protests. They are being kicked left, right, center, hit, punched, thrown off, trampled by horses left, right, center, everywhere. And then we have a waste man like him just going to loot stuff for fun because he sees it as a game. You definitely do see it as a game and you don't understand the seriousness or the harshness of the entire situation. Otherwise, you wouldn't just go to loot. You think it's fun. You think it's something to enjoy. And you think it's a situation that, you know, you don't take it as with seriousness because you don't respect this entire stand that a lot of people are taking. And I find it to be pathetic, but at the same time, I'm not really surprised. I don't, I don't expect anything more from someone like this and his brother who continuously have messed up. He is trending number one everywhere and he's being slammed and hopefully he can see it and understand it. And Loki, he'll come out with some apology dead kind of tweet. And then it will just, I don't know, it just, it's just an idiot, man. Just stupid white twat boys who are just so privileged and they get lost in a situation like this. And I just feel like it's just, there's just so many of them and it's all coming out in the woodworks. During this whole process, you really are seeing a lot of influencers, content creators being the content creator that they are. Like you really do. Subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.